In today's video I'm going to show you something called electromagnetic induction which was discovered in 1831 by Michael Faraday and I'd like you to consider this question while I'm showing you. Is this the most important discovery of all time? I don't know, let's see what you think. Now this is relevant to both P1 and P3. And let's talk about P1 for a second. If you're studying P1 and you've been taught about the generation of electricity, you may well have been shown a, a diagram that looks something like this, where we've got a power station broken into sections. We can see that we've got an area here for, um, for burning fossil fuels. The heat energy given off by the fossil fuels is used to boil water. That steam is then used to turn a turbine and that turbine is linked to this mysterious piece of equipment called a generator. And as that turns, we're taught electricity is generated and sent off into the national grid in your homes. And all I'd like to show you really is what is inside that generator. And so if we have a look at the equipment that's set up over here, we've got a coil of wire, We've got a magnet, and that coil of wire is attached to an ammeter, so we can see when a current is flowing. And all I'm going to do, it's like Michael Faraday did, so I'm going to take that coil of wire and I'm going to move it over the magnet. And of course around the magnet there is a magnetic field, so really what I'm doing is moving that coil of wire through the magnetic field. And the really fantastic part about this is... If we now move over to the ammeter, we can see that the movement of the coil of wire through that magnetic field induces a current to flow. And there we have electromagnetic induction, or electrical generation. And so we've got here a link between a conductor, a magnet, movement and electricity. And so if we go back to that, that diagram for P1, we'll see if it makes a little bit more sense now. All we're doing is we're turning that water into steam, the steam is turning the turbine, and the turbine is causing movement inside the generator. And inside the generator there's simply a magnet and a very big coil of wire. And that kinetic energy, that movement that's coming from the turbine and the steam is then transferred into electrical energy. There you go, electromagnetic induction.